Hello everyone. Uh, we are going to solve the problem minimum number of operations to make x and y equal. And this problem is really interesting one. And these type of problems generally interviewers will prefer to ask. So we have different approaches to solve this problem. And I think you have tried for a couple of minutes. Then only you came and then you then only you are coming and watching the video tutorial. Now first we will understand the question and then we will see the various approaches and then we will see high level of the coding part and try to code by yourself after understanding the logic because if you try to code by yourself then you will code and you can think about the logic you are given two positive integers x and y in one operations you can do one of the four following operations divide x by 5 if x is a multiple of 11 that means x can be 22 33 which is a multiple of 11 or if it is a multiple of 5 you can divide by 5 or you can decrement the x or you can increment the x and we need to return the minimum number of operations required to make x and y equal he's saying that we can perform operation only on x that is most important thing we can we can't swap now suppose we have x as 3 and my y as some 7 my y as 7 so if you see here uh, I can't do any of these operations. I can't divide x. I can't uh, if I, if I am dividing by five. Uh, suppose these two are not valid, and three, four, five, three, four, five. With two operations, you can come till five. And if you apply this operation, it will go to one, right? So that means we are decrementing the value. So if you are given x is less than or equals to y, if x is less than or equals to y, you can directly return y minus x y you got right we have 3 4 5 if you are if you try to perform any of the operations my x value gonna decrease so but you can't decrease it you need to increase it now let's see if after saying this uh, first thought you will get is recursion is definitely you should get this thought because seeing these four choices you will go with recursion and suppose this is my function f of x comma y then you will go with x minus y x plus 1 if my x is divided by 11 if x divided by 11 equals to 0 then you can perform this and x percentile 5 is equals to 0 then you can perform this in this I want the minimum yes you can do few modifications to this and you can solve this using order of and time complexity uh, there are so many solutions in the uh, discussion tab you can see like how this dp solution work but in this problem we will not discuss about the dp one we will see the most efficient one we will see bfs and how bfs helps when when there is a minimum whenever you see the term minimum and minimum with different conditions try to think about bfs bfa bread first search you can uh, in this you will use a q so how, how you can use bfs the main question like how you can use that now there is my x and y and definitely my x will be greater than or equals to y that is for sure if it x is less then you can't perform any of the operations so my initial thought will be okay if i can i push x into the queue definitely you can push i can push and at every node there will be four possibilities based on different conditions you will be having four possibilities and it is very much similar to uh, this like recursive solutions but uh, BFS is preferable in interviews because with this you should uh, you should think about various different approaches like how, how much uh, value should I add here how much value I should add here a different scenarios which should add different values so it's a bit confused uh, if you are good with recursions then you can go with that now we have Q okay I will try to use Q because I want the minimum thing now let's see with one example let's see this example 26 and 1 now I am pushing my 26 into my Q and in Q I am storing 26 and I am storing the depth depth is 0 and from 26 you can go to 25 and or you can go to 27 and I remain in two operations you can't perform because 26 is not divisible by either 5 or 11 if you are subtracting you are coming here with the operation of 1 then at 25 
ट्वेंटी फाइव यू कैन गो टू ट्वेंटी फोर और यू कैन गो टू देन यू कैन गो टू ट्वेंटी सिक्स दिस ट्वेंटी सिक्स इज रिपीटेड सो इफ इट इज रिपीटिंग आई विल यूज सम मैप और यू कैन यूज सेट और यू कैन यूज विजिटेड अरे टू मेक इट विजिटेड सो एनी थिंग यू कैन यूज दिस इज कंप्लीटली बेस्ड ऑन यूर चॉइस इफ इट इज ऑलरेडी सीन देन माई डेप्थ हियर आई एम गेटिंग डेप्थ जीरो एंड हियर आई एम गेप्टिंग हियर माई डेप्थ इज वन हियर माई डेप्थ इज टू ए टू डेप्थ विच इज मिनिमम डेफिनेटली द विच वन अकर्ड प्रीवियसली दैट इज द मिनिमम सो आई नॉट केयर अबाउट दैट नॉट ट्वेंटी फाइव डिवाइडेड बाई फाइव ट्वेंटी फाइव इज डिविजल बाई फाइव एंड वी आर डिवाइडिंग इट बाई फाइव देन माई आंसर विल बी हियर फाइव वी आर डिवाइडिंग बाई फाइव माई आंसर विल बी फाइव नाउ आफ्टर आफ्टर वी आर रीचिंग फाइव वी हैव सेम थ्री पॉसिबिलिटीज आई दर इट कैन गो टू फोर और सिक्स और आई कैन डिविजल बाई वन फाइव एंड इट रीच इड वन सो इट डेप्थ थ्री आई हैव रीच इड टिल द uh this position now you can see for 24 you can try for 24 uh, 24 will be like 23 and till 20 till 20 you can't perform any of the operations after 20 only you can divide it by 5 no at 22 you can perform you can check it out because at this depth you got now if you are going with another operation we are going for 22 suppose we are going with 22 uh, this will be my fourth order then after 22 it should be divided by 11 then it will come to Two right, twenty-two by eleven. It will come to two. This is my depth five. Then two minus one, which is one. At the sixth depth, you are getting. But here you are equating one in the third depth. So directly I can return the answer. I think you have got it. Uh, and one more, one more thing here. I have used a pair, and I think it's not required because every time you are uh, coming, every time you are coming down, every time you are using a new queue to store the values. That means that you can directly. at every iterations uh, you can store the depth rather than storing here and wasting the space complexity you can you can do you can try it out so you should try it uh, you should try for i think you have got the logic part uh, try for try for at least 15 to 20 minutes try to code by yourself and if you couldn't able to code then you can watch the next part so before going into the coding part so i have created a community whatsapp community code with confidence so you can join there there will be like discussions on various problems and we will discuss the problems after every contest and we will track the consistency like how long you are doing daily challenges you can check it out i will add the comic community link in the description first first condition first now let's see x is less than y then we are returning by minus x then sorry for that i couldn't able to change uh, depth you can you can try it out uh, i have used extra space here now q dot push x comma 0 then i have used map m of x and rather than map visited array is the most efficient one and this is my q this is my new new q this is my old q because at, the, at every depth you need to store in a new q q dot front and p dot first p dot second this is a and b if my a is equals to y then i have reached my depth i will return b or else if m of a minus 1 is 0 that means this is not visited then we are pushing into the queue a plus 1 we are pushing here we are checking for the condition whether it is divisible by 5 or not if it is not divisible not perform if it is divisible we are dividing it by 5 and we are incrementing the depth same thing with 11 we have done and at the end we need to store q is equals to t because uh, my q All elements will be popped out here, and T will be stored as new element. T is equal to in T my remaining Qs will be present. It will be Qs equal to T, and we are returning minus one because here never it will come. Now after seeing this, you will get different thoughts. What can be the time complexity, space complexity? Try to think how much it can be the time complexity. I thought I think you have thought about it. Now if you see the constraints, it is saying ten power four, and if you see here, every time. we will iterate only once every element till 10 power 4 is you can go till 10 power 4 you can reach till 10 power 4 but you can't repeat it because if you see here we are storing it visited array so it is not repeated any time it is not repeated so it will be order of n that's it simple because every node we will iterate there can be a possibility to iterate every node that's why i am saying it will be order of n then coming to space we are using extra space as a queue it will be like order of n and we are using extra space 
as a visited to check whether uh, that value is visited or not that will be an extra space or order of n overall it will be order of n itself so i think you have got it so if you understood it please please do consider liking and if you are new to the channel please subscribe so after every sunday contest and bi weekly contest i will post the solution so you guys will get the updates very quickly and i have made a video uh, related to how to be consistent in your career uh, and with different topics like fomo system design everything i will add that uh, video link in the description you can check it out uh, it will be really helpful for you and thank you for watching i will see you in the next video